Welcome back, everybody. Happy, um, you know, Wednesday. You know, it, it, uh, that's no joke. I work from home now and have for a year, and ever since this mess started, I, uh, I don't know what day it is. It doesn't matter, right? I just, I just work and do videos and hang out with you guys. Is that good? Bad? I don't, I don't whatever. Um, so uh, today I'm gonna tell you something cool we're gonna be doing to the bike. So in the in the the story of the 21, I bought a 20. If, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit subscribe because we have these fun chats almost daily. Um, so subscribe, be part of the family. It'd be great. Um, I bought a 2021 Ultra Limited when they first came out, and uh, have been doing some things to it here and there. Some stuff I already owned, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Like I put the air breather on it. It's not tuned still. That software's still not out. Uh, I have a new SNS 2 into one Sidewinder sitting there in a box. Can't put it on. Tuning software's not out. Uh, but I did put uh, some slip-ons I already owned on it. Uh, some chrome dress up on the dash, the mirrors and stuff like that. And I did some lighting. So uh, I do not have any relationships in place where I'm paid to say things. It's, this is the honest to God truth. So when I say I like something, it's because I like it. There's no, you know, I'm not trying to sell you nothing. Um, there's a couple companies I'm a huge fan of. SNS, as you can see, I have on those two bikes, the intakes and stuff, because they were cool when I was a kid. And I grew up on the back of my dad's bike, and the badass bikes always had SNS intakes and pipes and sometimes engine work and whatnot, cams. Um, so I just love SNS because there's like a childhood attachment there. Uh, a company that I really like, that I'm sure you all know, is Custom Dynamics. I'm a huge fan of them because their lighting's cool, right? If you want it, they make a light for it, you know? Uh, and I run Custom Dynamics on my CBO there. I have the Pro Beams on the front. I have Custom Dynamics taillights. Should I show all this stuff? I guess I can show all this stuff. So, let me kick this guy on real quick. So you can see I'm running Pro Beams on my Roguelite CBO. Dirty ones. Uh, I'm running the Pro Beam CBO lights in the rear. Uh, and then I have a probing tail light on my heritage and uh, Pro beams on well, actually don't no, these aren't pro beams. These are the old ones I had these in a drawer for my first uh, Road light ultra a couple years ago. These are their first generation Turn signal lights. You can see they're not as bright uh, And they're just like you can see the LEDs They're just made differently than the ones that are on the CBO there and then I have another one of those probing tail lights on the rear of this guy, which I really like. I like it because I'll show you. Um, it's like these tube LED lights inside it. They're really cool. Anyway, um, little things, right? Uh, that's why I have two of them. Um, and then when I first got this guy, I wanted to convert all the lighting to smoke in the back. And I had a moment of cheapness and I ordered um, Amazon lower tour pack smoke lights. I know. And they weren't even that cheap. That's the funny thing. So you can see there, they're just smoked lights. These are normally red with just little LEDs in them. Um, I think there's about the same number of lights as like factory in there. But um, I order those and put them on. And they fit. I mean, they don't have the water gaskets and stuff that a factory light would. Um, they're not as sealed up inside. So you can see the quality difference. So anyway, I... Uh, Actually, as a result of this channel, I had a conversation with Custom Dynamics, which blew me away. And they had said, so you put cheap Amazon tour pack lights <laughs> on that 21 Limited next to, right above our Pro Beam taillight. That's great. And, and, I, and I, I was like, yeah, they're really nice people though. Um, and the lady I spoke to uh, says, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna send you replacement proper lights for those cheapies that you put on there. And I was like, what? Like, like that, that's, that blows me away. And she goes, I'm also gonna send you new pro beams for the front of that guy. So um, today, they're being delivered today. This is real, like I'm, I'm, I'm blown away by this. Maybe other social media people out there are like, well, yeah, I'm like, I don't, I just don't, I'm not wired like that. Um, so that today I'm being delivered new pro beams for the front of this and their cool pro beam lower tour pack lights are gonna be in smoked, 
like I wanted. They're gonna be delivered today too. And this is how cool they were. I said, I also ordered the cheap, like big light. You know, here, I'm, I didn't show you this one. The, the big giant, you know, turn signal stop brake light. I'm like, I ordered that on Amazon too. Not asking for anything, just saying like, I, cause they don't make that yet. And she says, so put it on when you get it. But, I mean, how cool is that? I mean, I, you know, so they, they very nice people. She's like, when you get that other one, you know, go ahead and put it on. Um, I think she was implying maybe they're gonna make one, you know? Um, so if they, if they turn back on camera, um, if, if they come out with one of those and smoke, I'll pick one of those up. But, uh, so I just thought that was really nice. I, I'm sharing that today. They'll be delivered today and we'll pop those out. I'm sure it'll be a little easier than these were because again, the holes in the lights where the screws go into from the tour pack, they weren't quite big enough. So getting them in wasn't, wasn't so easy. So we'll do a little garage yoga later um, where I'm working on the bike, but also like balancing the tour pack with this elbow while holding the plate out, you know, that whole thing. But they'll be delivered today and we'll do that. So that'll be fun. So hope you're all doing well out there and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so the postman arrived and I was very excited to see him because it's like a little bit of Christmas morning here for me. So. This seems this just struck me as funny because I have an eight-year-old little girl and she loves unboxing videos and I just realized that's what I'm doing. So let's take a look here at the old handy boxer cutter opener and uh, we'll see what's in the box. All right, let's see here. They're right now at home going, what are you doing? You're gonna cut it. Uh, see if I cut myself, that'd be great, right? Just filleting my hand on video. Do. Oh, paper. Let's see what we got. And this is a legitimate unboxing. I really don't know what I'm gonna find here. Okay, paper, yeah, there we go. Some nice brand new Pro Beams. Yeah, those are an upgrade from what I got on there. Smoke lenses and all. That's gonna be slick. We'll put those on. And then, oh yeah, here are the nice ones. These are the, I guess they're called tour pack arms. I didn't know that. But man, I can already see a difference between, uh, and actually I still have handy here. Uno momento, por favor. Um, here's the stockers. I saw it sitting there from when I did that swap the other day. And uh, it's like seven LEDs. And it's a, it's, you know, you can tell it's an OEM kind of part. It's not, cheesy it's at least got some you know wrap on the wires and stuff but i can see here there's an adapter for different years maybe let's see oh 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 that's already open don't you love that when the plastic just pops open instead of that old uh thing where oh yeah okay okay oh there and we have some adapters pretty slick cool let me look into the paperwork a little bit here to see, oh my God, look at this. Got little stickums for routing and that's nice. Some zip ties. OEM wouldn't like this. Let me let me read their directions real quick. OEM was just, you know, unplug and then that and then came off and there were two screws holding it. But you can see Custom Dynamics got uh, all the stuff to secure the lines properly and all that. That's slick. All right, I'll be back in a minute. So this is pretty slick. Their installation, I'm not gonna show you the pictures because you won't be able to see, goes a step further. You don't just unplug the small connectors that are on the stock lights, you can, you disconnect that, then you disconnect the, the larger harness and replace it. So you don't use, wow. The stock wiring connectors will not be used for the new LED tour pack arms. Also, they got a good idea in here. <laughs> when you take the four nuts off that, that secure the uh, tour pack, and I say I was like, like kind of elbow to hold that sucker on, duh, they'll like throw another nut and bolt down through the, one of the holes to hold the tour pack where you can do this. <laughs> Wish I'd have thought of that before. So let's go for it. And that's why they're the experts because that was brilliant. So essentially, we'll go back through this again. Um, this plate right here, be careful, the sucker's sharp around the edges. Sits inside here, those four studs go down through the tour pack, through this mount, and there's just holes there, and you just put nuts on it. So it's, it's not a complicated thing, but it's extremely fiddly. 
uh, you take those four nuts off and then your tour pack is unstable, let's just say. Um, still better to have, you know, it's still better to have another set of hands to hold it still for you. But their little tip about just putting a nut and bolt through one of the holes. Why I didn't think that, I don't know. But now look, oh, it's stable. I can work on it. So now we're going to look at this. And I can see already what they're talking about. They actually change out. These are the wires off the uh, ones I got on Amazon. And they actually replace more of this than just that to make it a little more robust, we'll call it. So that's that's pretty slick. So let me uh, dig into that. I'm not good at holding the camera well, you know. So uh, I'll be back in a minute with all that and update on how that worked out. But uh, so far, I'm impressed. This is This is nice. It's also a chance, guys, to check your antenna. Mine was unhooked. <laughs> I didn't do it. So my antenna from the factory was not hooked in, which explained my radio reception was no good. Anyway, so we'll be back in a minute. Uh, let me figure out the, the quick wiring bit. Oh, look, I'm all dark. Okay, so I've run the wires, and I'll show you that in a second. It's great. I, it, there's a plug that you unplug your factory tour pack, and you stick this in line, and when you plug those in, it creates the lines that go out to your two new ones. But before I put it on, I wanted to show, I've already noticed something. <laughs> the stock, this is the actual OEM. Phone call. This is the uh, uh, OEM light. I, I, real quick, I don't know if your kids do this, but my kids, my daughter's school calls nine times a day to tell me what lunch is tomorrow and what the secretary wore today, and, uh, seriously, not important stuff so far. Anyway, um, so this is a factory light. We're talking about one, I'm counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven LEDs. There's seven LEDs in that light. <laughs> I can tell you from looking at this guy, I, I mean, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 22, 23, 24. There's like two dozen. <laughs> this is going to be cool. I'm looking forward to this. So let me show you the wiring situation real quick, and then I'll get back to the actual cool stuff. All right, so this is what I was describing earlier. This this came with it, this this piece here. So this is the factory harness. You just unplug these two. Oh, I'm sorry, camera wasn't on. So you just unplug these two, and this inline adapter goes between the bike and the tour pack, essentially. And that creates two more wires. You then pop this perp this uh, uh, rubber grommet out, not too hard to do, and run those two wires along into the tour pack. You see here, where we've got them. Run in. Put the grommet back in, so we're even watertight. You're not sacrificing that stuff. And then these are what plug into the actual lights. The light wire uh, gives you plenty of slack. This is not too short. The light wire is going to come in and leave some extra. The light wire comes in through this hole here. This factory little plug is going around that to seal that up a bit, uh, and then we're gonna plug it together. And then I'll look and see that, you know, they came with the other little things. So I'll see if it's just niceties or, uh, you know, where those go. We'll see. So they're not niceties, they're pretty practical. So this is what I was talking about. It came with these little plastic circle jobby niners with the foam pad sticky thing on the back. And it wasn't in the direction, so I just looked real quick. There are posts on the back of here, where obviously when you put it on the bike, it's gonna stop any sort of rattling or vibration. Factory light doesn't even have that. It also came with new grommets for the wires, uh, just so I guess you get a nice snug, more snug fit, because the factory ones do just kind of fall out. So I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. So next video is gonna be probably just buttoned up, because I just gotta uh, run that wire in, put the plate back in the tour pack, um, screw these in through the bottom, uh, put the liner back in and we're done. So I don't know elapsed time You know if you're not messing with a camera because it takes a lot of time. It's probably an hour You know if you, if you know how to turn a screwdriver and unplug plugs you can do this. There's no there's no snipping of wires There's no soldering none of that stuff. This is really slick. So um, I'll be back when I'm back again. We'll be done. I'll show you the lights All right, we're done. I've already tested them After I screwed everything back together. I was like oh, I should make sure everything's hooked up, right? I, it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Okay. Um, I can't tell you how freaking happy I am with these, and I'll show you why. I, they do something I don't even know. All right. So I mean, there they are off. You know, much better than red. 
nice smoked. The lenses are better quality, you can tell. You know, it's just a it's just a much better light. Now, when they're on, I mean this part's cool enough, right? Okay. All right. So look, look at the number of lights. Look at that. How cool is that? There's like a dozen of them in there at least. So they look great. Just, you know, that. Here's the cool thing that I I didn't know they did this. Shows you how much I pay attention. They are brake lights. I didn't even know that. See, look, then they go off and come back on. So every time you hit the brakes, let off, off, back on. And their turn signals. Talk about visibility. Check that out. I'm so, so happy with those things, man. Those are great. So we got to put the pro beams on in the front now, but or the you know the turn signal lights, but those are fantastic. I can't wait for them to come out with the, the big the big bar light thing. When that comes out, I'm gonna have to grab one of those. Unless they want to send me one, you know. All right, I don't know. All right, so let's uh the front lights are hilarious. I'll actually show that if you can change a bulb, you can do that. Um so pop this guy off and we'll come back. Let me find a place to put this and then yeah, all right, we'll figure something out. Hi. <laughs> so welcome to the most uninteresting video segment i'll ever do because if if you work on bikes a lot you're gonna like are you really gonna show us how to change a bulb yes we're gonna change a bulb all right um anyone out there who has it you're welcome so this guy here is just stuck in there so i'm just gonna stick a standard pop that off that lens just pops right off as you can see the light comes loose normally the bulb is just sitting in here and you just push turn left pop out so that's all there is to it. These even have like aluminum connectors so you can just grab them with your fingers, turn them, and that's it. So it looks like the rear end of a bulb. These are the old Pro Beams. Yeah, that's their old light. This is like the first generation Custom Dynamics product there. So um, those will go in the archives. <laughs> Meaning my drawer of stuff that you know, I told you about all that before. And then these are even better, the plugs are. So these even have a little standard screwdriver you know, slot in them. So when you stick them in there, you can push with a screwdriver and get them in there right. Um, that should just kind of pop in there real quick. You may have to find them, make sure you got, you know, got them orientated. Orientated, yep, see that one right first time. And then we're just going backwards, just kind of curl up the wires a bit, pigtail them, and push it on. Oh, two fingers, three fingers, all the fingers. All right, there we go. So that is done. So uh, I'll just go ahead and flip on the ignition real quick and show you what that lo looks like in comparison to the old ones. So yeah, you can probably see from there. Uh, if you can see what I can see, I'm not sure. Let me see if we can even turn over, turn over a bit. So I don't want to, you know, blind you out there. But the new ones, it's almost like a double line of LEDs, and there's like this like prism effect inside the prism effect. I said it in the light itself. So you got like just a much more pronounced white light. And the old ones, they're, they're, you know, nice, but they're just LED bulbs that you've seen before and then a cluster in the middle. Let me turn the turn signals on real quick so you can see the difference. Let's see. So there's the Pro Beam. All right. And there's the, uh, the old Custom Dynamics light. So you can really see where the turn signal is a lot more bright. Just from what I can see here. There's a lot more white light coming out of it and the turn signal's a heck of a lot brighter. So that's a pretty big upgrade. I'm real happy with those. So again, thanks Custom Dynamics. That was a, that was a lot of fun to make those upgrades. I'm gonna you know, do this other side and uh, we'll be done for the day and we'll all talk soon. So thanks a bunch. Comment below if you haven't subscribed, please do. Let me turn this. You wanna look at my face, don't you? Um, please do subscribe, comment, all that stuff. We have great conversation and sort of chat if there's any questions about this stuff i'll put the link in the description um again just a link i don't have like a thing with them uh so i'll put a link down below and then i'll put a link on the facebook page too so you can grab those but um i'm real pleased with this stuff i'm excited so we'll talk soon see y'all later bye